Hi, and welcome to Aiken Adventures. Today we're taking you to Sarasota, Florida. And if you're just now joining us on Aiken Adventures, we're taking you to do all the best things and all the best places all around Florida. If you like that kind of content, then you're going to want to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification icon as you follow us for all of our adventures around Florida. And for the first stop on our list, we're at the Moat Marine Laboratory and Aquarium. Tickets for the Moat Marine Laboratory and Aquarium can be purchased on their website in advance of your arrival. So in this section of the museum is a 27 foot long squid that weighed over 500 pounds. They named her Molly and you can see kind of like her remains um, taxidermy maybe. She's preserved here in some way and uh, it's kind of kind of cool. There's also a virtual reality exhibit as well that you can check out. Now it's time for the shards! Is there anything cooler than learning about sharks? I don't think so. And of course, there's a touch tank. In this little hut over here, you can pet some stingrays. Touching the stingrays was so much fun. I've never actually gotten to touch one before. They're kind of slimy, but it was a really cool experience. There's a really cool diner right here where you can have lunch. The Ocean Adventure Exhibit is a little area off to the side where kids can come learn through sensory play and they can learn all about the ocean and through different activities. list is the Sarasota Jungle Gardens. Sarasota Jungle Gardens is family owned and operated. It's more than 10 acres and contains more than 200 species of animals. Look at these giant tortoises you guys. They're so big. Look out the lemur. <laughs> the first place I've ever been where flamingos just roam around free so that was really really cool yeah, never seen cool anything that like could, that it was cool that you could feed them and yeah. their beaks are so big that I was a little afraid of Vivian's yeah. fingers being here they faces. seem well trained though yeah they anybody. just went right for the food so yeah. that was and she wasn't intimidated by that yeah. so I thought that was really great I love that all these parrots have names so for example this one is Houdini and Andy Jr there's Victor and Amber and Frosty I think that's so funny, especially when they have people names. One of Vivian's favorite features at any attraction is if they have a playground. And Sarasota Jungle Gardens did not disappoint. There's even a really great butterfly garden. So this is pretty cool. This section of the uh, jungle gardens is called the Gardens of Christ. And all along here are different dioramas explaining various parts of the life of Jesus. So here it starts with the nativity. 
And then Jesus as a child in the temple. The Sermon on the Mount and kind of the beginning of his public ministry. Raising of Jairus' daughter. The Last Supper. The Crucifixion. And the Resurrection. This place is so cool. It, I just love how much it feels like a jungle. It really does. The way they have it set up, you feel like you're in the jungle. Okay, it's petting zoo time. All right, it's lunch time and we're pretty hungry. So we found a place that's called the Serving Spoon. We're pretty excited about it. I got one of their skillets. This one is the sausage, salsa, pepper, onion, skillet with some cheese. So I'm excited about this. What'd you get? <laughs> After a meal at the serving spoon, be sure to take a leisurely stroll and enjoy all of the surrounding shops and stores. Okay, for the next stop on our list, we're at the Marie Selby Botanical Gardens in downtown Sarasota. I can't wait to see what the inside looks like because we're just walking around on the sidewalk in the neighborhood. And it's and gorgeous. It's, and yes, it's so beautiful. <laughs> There's so many tropical plants and yeah. colorful flowers and uh, it's nice. Even the perimeter is beautiful. I love that when you enter in that they have this um, arbor, is that what you would call yeah. it? Yeah, that'd be an arbor. And uh, that it has, they have all the air plants growing across the top of them like an archway. So cool. I always love looking at a bonsai garden. They're so neat. This part right here is the Tropical Plant Conservatory. There are so many orchids, they're so beautiful. Okay, the waterfront definitely adds to the appeal of this garden. I can't say enough about the great views uh, looking out over the water while you walk around here. So I'm personally interested in this plant right over here. It's the wild coffee plant. I'm all for that. Over back this way is a Japanese inspired garden and Vivian had so much fun feeding all the koi fish. What did you just do? I threw it at him. <laughs> you threw it at him? <laughs> Hi! Oh, sorry, sorry. Did you have fun? Mm -hmm. Did you like feeding the fish? Mm -hmm. I got these tomatoes. Yeah. You ready to go play on the playground? Sure! 
Now we're off to the playground. Okay, so it's not so much a playground as it is a children's garden, but Vivian had a great time exploring. So she told us that we had to stop making music so that we could sit at the table. Yep. Been... Now we're sitting at the table and we've been abandoned. Two year olds. <laughs> oh wait, here she comes. Now what are we gonna do? Oh, I see So the next stop on our list is the Ringling in Sarasota, Florida. And this is one of the things I have been the most excited about. Do He's so ready for yes, this. Yes, <laughs> this is the reason I wanted to come to Sarasota. And if Ringling sounds familiar to you, that's right, the Ringling Brothers Circus. This is the Circus Museum. There are apparently a few museums here, a couple of museums, a gardens, and then also a theater as well. The art museum is super cool here. On the south side of the museum is primarily a collection of religious artwork. It has a number of works that portray biblical scenes and then also some various religious figures that I wouldn't be as familiar with. One of my favorite parts was wandering through the courtyard. There were some beautiful sculptures, also some really weird sculptures. Yeah, very strange the way people did sculptures and artwork back in those days. And the front, <laughs> like as like closer to the building, um, looked more like a English garden to me, except for it was like mm -hmm. plots of grass, but they were all very geometric shaped. It was right. very cool. When we re-entered the south side of the building, that section was all Asian artwork and mm -hmm. statues. So that was very interesting. As you walk toward the end of the building on the uh, south side, there are, um, it's more contemporary artwork. And then the remaining collections of art were um, just very traditional scenes. And uh, so it was very cool. But I think one, a couple of my favorite things were that there was a beautiful harpsichord yes. and a carved grand piano. That's what I was gonna say. I loved the room with the grand piano. It had all the gold walls and features. Yeah, a couple of the so rooms were very ornate. It looks like a room that would be out of Beauty and the Beast to me. <laughs> well, yeah, it was very French style. Yeah. I felt like I was in the Palace of Versailles. Yes. <laughs> all right, next up on the agenda is the Circus Museum. All right, I'm excited about this one. In the Circus Museum, you'll find a whole miniature circus and it is Huge. I never realized how much ground these circuses cover, but when looking at the miniature version, I was trying to wrap my head around how they actually got all of that in one space realistically. It was really amazing though. You walk around the perimeter of it and you can see such detail with yeah. all the different parts and the show and the parade and, and, the, and the trains. It was so cool. I have to go up to the second floor and on the second floor, there are more miniature models, but the emphasis of the second floor is the history of circus. And it takes you all the way around from the starting of the circus to the circus in modern times. Even though we were too late to be able to go inside the mansion, they told us that we could still walk around the outside of it, which I'm very excited about because the architecture is absolutely gorgeous. of this house are really incredible and also the just the structures the way this thing is built it's amazing that somebody actually lived here it's just all the detail is really amazing we 
we're going to take a little time to stroll around the grounds here as we make our way back to our car because it's time for the museum and gardens to close for the day. The next stop on our list is the St. Armand Circle on St. Armand Key. This giant traffic circle is surrounded by basically an outdoor shopping mall. There are many high-end stores and boutiques. There are plenty of restaurants and cafes and anything that you might be looking for and a beautiful park-like setting. One of the things that captured our attention as we were driving through this area are the beautiful sculptures that are dotted all throughout the medians and all throughout the St. Armand Circle. Most of the places all around St. Armand Square look like really unique dining experiences. They're so fancy. All right, we're coming down to the end of our day. And one of the things that we have not done yet is that we have not gone to the beach. Now, usually when we're over on the East Coast, we do that pretty early on. But one of the things that you definitely have to do when you come over to the West Coast of Florida, is you gotta watch the sunset over here because facing west. So we're gonna go out to Sarasota Beach and uh, take a look at what the beach looks like. They got that powder sand. It literally love feels it. like powder. It is so soft. Oh, we love this kind of sand. And if you watch our channel, you know we love sand. <laughs> <laughs> and so this is the good one. There was a sign up over on like the main stretch in Siesta Key that said Siesta Key is the number one um, beach in the USA. I believe that. I, that's reasonable. Yeah, Although yeah. I thought that Clearwater held that uh, particular yeah. di uh, distinction. So I don't know. You can argue. It's definitely in the top list though. To be honest, when we were looking at coming out here for the sunset, when we were first walking down this way, I wasn't really even sure that the, um, the colors of the sky were going to start to change. But it's not disappointing yeah, us. Yeah, it's beautiful. It looks, uh, it looks ju just magnificent. Uh. Okay, now a moment ago when we started out like talking about the beach, I intentionally only said that we were rounding down our day. It's not over yet. No, on the <laughs> way in to the beach, we passed by something that we we're very interested in. And yes. uh, we're going to take you there right now, and we're going to tell you what we really think about it. So, I really wanted ice cream, so I got ice cream. It's just chocolate. Wow, what's in here? Tasty. So these are strawberry cheesecake uh, donut holes. So you want one? <laughs> She's going to test it. <laughs> you don't like it? Mm. It's a little messy, but it's a whole lot of good. Hi, this is Anthony and Elena. If you've enjoyed this video, then we invite you to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification icon as you follow us for all of our adventures around Florida.